Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and some news out from Epic Games today about changes to the Unreal Engine marketplace that have some pretty profound effects. First off, it reinforces the fact that I think Epic is just a class act. Every time they've done something, they've done something in a classy manner. You may recall back when they first made Unreal Engine available, Unreal Engine 4, uh, there was actually a $20 or $25 subscription fee attached to joining it. And then eventually when they changed that out and made it open to everybody and changed the royalty structure, they actually reimbursed everybody that fee. And that was sort of where it began. I thought, wow, this, this company is pretty legit. And then since then, they've done a lot of things that have been pretty class. And I've got to say, even their, um, their royalty structure on Unreal Engine is very fair. Definitely works for both sides of the equation. They're making money and they've made an engine accessible to everybody else. But they've done other things that have just been, again, classy. Um, when they undid, uh, Paragon, when they shut down their Project Paragon, uh, they refunded everybody, which was a really cool move. And they also released a lot of the assets available to Unreal Engine developers. So to this point in time, Epic has continuously impressed me and they just did it again. Basically, they just announced that they are changing the rate structure uh, of their online marketplace to 88% share. And this is pretty much unheard of. So basically, if you develop content for the Unreal Engine marketplace, as you can see right here, so if you're selling content, uh, to Unreal developers, you'll see uh, now you're actually going to be getting 88% of the earnings. So they're only going to be keeping 12% for themselves. And that is impressive. Almost every other online marketplace. So I believe Unity, don't quote me on that, but Steam, um, PlayStation Network, Microsoft uh, online stores, etc. They almost all take at least 70%. So an 88% revenue split is pretty awesome change. So if you're looking at developing and selling content for Unreal Engine, you are now going to be making 18% more money, uh, like out of the blue, which is pretty awesome uh, change. But it goes one step beyond that. And this is where, again, uh, Epic continues to impress me. They are actually going to be retroactively uh, making this change to all sellers. So let me just find that exact quote here. Uh, Epic is paying out all marketplace resellers retroactively applying the more creator-friendly 88% rate to previous transactions dating back to the store's 2014 launch. So if you've been selling stuff on the uh, Unreal Engine marketplace for the last couple of months, well, you're about to get a check um, because, again... Epic is a pretty class act. And the cool thing is they're actually doing this because, um, well, here's the roundabout way of saying it. Thanks to both the marketplace's growth and, the growth and the success of Fortnite, Epic now conducts a huge volume of digital commerce. Uh, basically, economy of scale means they can pass the savings along to the community, which is what they're doing, and still making a healthy, pro healthy profit, which is awesome. Again, you know, win-win. We need more of this. I, I love seeing them just not being greedy. They could just pocket the money and be done. Now, don't get me wrong. There is an element of... By lowering this amount, they're going to attract more people to the Unreal store, which is, again, win-win for everybody. But, you know, you can look at it as less than altruistic. But this refunding everybody stuff, that is. There's no reason to do that other than to just be a class act. So uh, pretty awesome, really. I got to say uh, to Tim Sweeney, congratulations. Great decision. Uh, I'm impressed by you guys. You can see some of the numbers down here as well. Uh, 6.3 million users have chosen Unreal Engine 4. That means people have downloaded and installed it, though. That doesn't necessarily mean there's 6.3 million people developing games using Unreal Engine. Uh, in the first half of 2018, Unreal Engine Marketplace experienced 30% growth in active sellers. There are now 1,500 creators offering more than 5,000 products. Uh, and they have represent over 1 million downloads. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Ignore that one. That's just sort of market speak. Uh, but yeah, the... There's 8 million downloads have happened from the marketplace since the store launched in 2014. And of the commercial ones, uh, well, you're about to get a check. So um, if you are looking at developing for a given platform, uh, yeah, Unreal Engine has your back. This is a pretty cool move. And I wonder if it's going to be one of those things that shifts to the rate that other um, game tool marketers charge. So uh, will this have any effect on... Um, uh, Unity game engine or Turbo Squid, etc. Be interesting to see how the fallout from this happens. But I gotta say that's a pretty epic move by um, Epic. Uh, the, the change to Unreal Engine is it's pretty awesome. Sorry for the pun, but yeah. So I thought I'd share that. Of course, as always, links will be down below. What do you think? Are you an Unreal Engine marketplace seller? Do you buy from the marketplace? Uh, will this change push you in either direction? Again, class act. And one thing to drop your revenue, you know, again, that could be done to draw people in, but to also retroactively do it for all sellers. That's just, that's a classy move. So 
Uh, I guess you can thank the fact that Epic is swimming in Fortnite money for this change, but all the same, a great change, so I figured I'd share it with you. Let me know what you think of it. Comments down below. All right, talk to you all later. Goodbye.